Saturday, a throng of runners dressed like Samurais <laughs> will attack the 35th annual race to Roby Creek. Organizers, of course, bill it as the toughest race in the Northwest, but the weather conditions this year for the half marathon, that's what's making race committee and participants a bit worried tonight. Matt King has much more in tonight's big story. And Donna Michelle, according to legend, a Greek messenger ran the first marathon, bringing word of the Greeks' defeat of the Persians back to Athens. That went down in Greece in August. It was likely hotter there than it will be here on Saturday, but that messenger also died when he reached his destination. Make ready the cannon! Every one of them starts the day bright, strong, fresh, and optimistic. Fire! But eight-time Roby finisher Brian Baker knows the best part of this race. That comes when it's over. And for many, this year's 13.1 may take longer to conclude than it normally might. It's going to be a different type of race. It's not just all out. It's who survives. <laughs> it's going to be tougher than normal. For that, we can thank the weather. The heat's on everybody. And Saturday's expected heats sent race organizers scrambling to stockpile extra fluids. They did just that, adding Gatorade to aid stations for the first time in the run's history. The race committee wants runners to dress smart, wear sunscreen, and most of all, hydrate all week long. But don't drink too much. If your doctor allows it, Brian said increasing your salt intake could nix the possibility of overhydration. But really, staying out of trouble at Roby requires just a smidge of caution. Slow down a little bit, use some common sense. Enjoy the day. And if you're anything like Brian, your enjoyment likely begins as soon as you cross the finish line. So drink lots of water and take it slowly and drink lots of water. Live in the studio, Matt King, today's 6 News.